finally spotted at Tesla's Fremont factory. Elon Musk's 2026 Tesla Model 2 has been caught in what might be the most eye-opening leak so far. And what we found inside this prototype will surprise even the most hardcore Tesla fans. Just months after Elon said confidently, I'm sure this will be available in many cities in the U.S. by the end of this year. The Model 2 is already shaping up to be more than just a new car. It's a full-on revolution in how vehicles are designed and built. So, what makes this Model 2 so different that Elon is calling it a game changer? While most videos only talk about leaked photos and blurry spy shots, we're digging deep into the tech side of this car. Stuff you won't find on Tesla's site or in mainstream news. If you're ready to discover what legacy automakers and Chinese EV brands really don't want you to know, you're in the right place. And before we jump in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for Evolve Drive Hub. Because trust me, this isn't the kind of content you want to miss. First off, take a closer look at the wheels. The placement of the front and rear wheels is so close to the car's ends that it leaves almost no room for traditional suspension components. That's not just a styling trick. It's a sign of a total engineering shift. Compared to the Model Y parked right next to it, the Model 2's front axle is only about 540 to 580 millimeters from the edge of the body. The rear is around 490 to 520 millimeters. Meanwhile, the Model 3's measurements are a full 300 millimeters longer on both ends. Now... In the world of car design, shaving off 300 millimeters at the front and rear isn't just bold, it's nearly unheard of. Normal cars need 700 to 800 millimeters to fit in all the suspension parts, crash protection, and mounts. But Tesla's not doing it the old way. They're folding the suspension, drivetrain, and everything else into large giga castings, single metal blocks that form the front and rear of the car, just like they did with the Cybertruck. This means Tesla is doing something even race cars barely attempt. The drivetrain isn't just attached to the chassis. It is the chassis. No subframes, no cradles, no separate mounts. It's all one integrated structure. And this lets the Model 2 fit neatly into the compact a and B-Class hatchback category. It's perfect for tight turns in narrow city streets, with a turning radius of under 5 meters. Could this be the first affordable EV using racing-level drivetrain casting for daily urban driving? If that blows your mind, comment wheelbase below. Now let's talk about the roof. Something's very different here. From the B-pillar to the back of the car, the roof doesn't flow smoothly like the Model Y or Model 3. Instead, it breaks sharply near the C-pillar at an angle of about 20 to 25 degrees. That's not just a design choice. It's a hint that Tesla's testing something big. This break in a roof line, along with the gap between the pillar and spoiler, measured at around 55 to 70 millimeters, suggests the roof is actually modular. Yes, we're talking about a removable, swappable roof system. It's the first sign that Elon's idea of customizable roof modules from back in 2021 is becoming real. Tesla could offer three versions, a basic laminated metal roof costing just $1.85, 110, a fancier glass roof at around $1.320, 380, and even a solar panel roof pushing out 180 to 210 watts, priced at $1.600, 750. All of these can be swapped out using just a few clips and one data slash power cable, just like snapping on a phone case. Want a spoiler? You got it. Don't want one? Skip it. It's that simple. This isn't just a design trick. It's Tesla quietly changing the whole game of vehicle customization. If you think we're witnessing the birth of customizable Teslas, drop rear roof line in the comments. Let's move to the back. Behind the left rear wheel, you'll see something odd. Two clear vertical lines dividing the rear end into separate parts. That's not a dent or disguise. It's Tesla's new approach to making their cars easier to build and easier to repair. Traditionally, the back of the car is built in one big welded piece. But this Model 2 breaks it into two key modules. First, there's a lower rear module, including the bumper lights, maybe even a mini battery or sensor. This whole thing can be removed in under 15 minutes with a few screws and one cable. And guess what? If you ever get rear-ended, replacing this cost dollar 120, 180 max, 
compared to current average of over $1,800. The second part is the upper rear module, covering the trunk, spoiler, and camera. This piece can also be swapped, depending on whether you want a bare-bones base model or a full-featured, sporty version with cameras and spoilers. It's a manufacturing technique called service center panelization, usually found in expensive supercars or delivery vans, not mass-market EVs. But Tesla is betting big on it because it reduces repair time, cost, and stress. Think about it. Nearly half of city accidents happen under 40 miles per hour, and many are rear-end collisions. What if, instead of paying thousands and waiting weeks, you could fix your Tesla home or at a local shop in under an hour? This kind of design could turn Tesla into the people's EV. Not just affordable to buy, but finally affordable to fix. Comment modular rear if you think this is the future. Finally, look at the paint job. It might seem minor, but it's actually the final clue. The prototype is only painted in the middle section, while the front and rear are still in camouflage. No wrap lines, no stickers, just real paint. This tells us Tesla is testing a new production technique called partial body painting. Instead of painting the whole car in one go, which takes 42 to 45 minutes, they're now painting only the center body shell. This alone cuts paint time by nearly 40%, down to just 24 to 26 minutes. That's a huge win in production speed. It also allows Tesla to build one base body and attach different front and rear ends depending on the market. Want the U.S. version? Attach a big bumper. European market? Use smaller bumpers in different lights. Indian version? Swap in a sleeker front for better airflow, all using the same base show. Right now, Fremont can build around 475,000 vehicles a year per line. But with this new paint and snap strategy, that could double, maybe over 950,000 per line. With just Fremont and Giga Texas combined, Tesla could be on track to pump out more than 2 million Model 2s annually. So what we've seen today isn't just a prototype. It's a blueprint for Tesla's entire future. From the wheel placement to the roof design to the rear panels and even the paint, every piece of this car is whispering one thing loud and clear. Tesla is changing everything, not just in how EVs are made, but how they're owned, upgraded, and fixed. If you want more deep dives like this, make sure to subscribe to Evolve Drive Hub, your go-to place for the sharpest, smartest, and most detailed looks at the tech shaping our roads. Because this isn't just a car, it's the start of a revolution.